I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. Hello everybody. How are we today? The sun's back, so I'm going to tell you it's a wonderful sunny day. The birds are singing. You've all heard it before and as always, I do mean it is really a fantastic day. I have had a small lion. I needed it. Uh, I cut a bit of grass and as it's baking hot and Angelina seemed to have so much fun with the, uh, the jet wash yesterday, I want to go, but I'm going to go and do another job, which is really, really important. We have two sets of gates and gate posts, uh, internally anyway, we've got another one or two at the end of the driveway. All of these railings need a little bit of love and repair, which is no issue. The gates could do with a bit. I mean, this is just a temporary measure to stop the dog escaping because he is a bit like that but these need some love attention certainly some paint and then a little bit of tidying and this is literally a bridge into the house you can't get into our house without crossing water they're obviously a massive feature and we have another huge set up there, but internally here, these need sorting out as do the gate posts. I'm gonna start with those because that's easy with the Karcher, the other ones aren't. That is a serious difference. I'll work my way around, I think. Can't wait for this lot. That lot's not quite so bad. I'm just gonna sweep some of the stone back and do this properly. Nope, I've come off this better than Angelina yesterday. Now, started, I thought I'd just do the railings because I wanted to be able to paint them soon. Uh, then I decided best do more than that, so I'm gonna end up having to go back over the railings quickly and the ground which I've done. But I'm getting to find something I didn't know was there. This is fantastic. Okay, very dirty cobbles off the bridge. 
driveway which is just stones and mud and actually there is another layer of nice cobbles under there which have just been hidden so i'm going to expose those and see how far back they go so we can then put a proper edge in there and keep everything on the right side if i hadn't been using that jet wash a little bit too vigorously i wouldn't have found that so let's expose some more say judging by the type of stone and stuff there that's going to be the edge so we're going to go across the line that way to either side and see what we can expose Absolutely covered, and I am a very happy man for this job. Looking so much better. And look at the bridge. So much better. And of course, all a bit underwater for a second but we uncovered not only this much stuff which is all under mud but this extra row of cobbles which does mean I can dig back here and put in a proper little curb lip you know, little gentle rounded lip there which will look much better and keep all of this lot in and then I'll do the same on the other side of the bridge obviously they're looking much better i'll have to get a boat to do either side of those railings and then we'll get rid of all of this ivy on these posts and uh jet wash those as well and then we'll paint it all up but that is another day one step at a time now of course what does require investigating is whether those cobbles for that original drive still exist they're there. I wonder if someone's gone over the top of those in the past. As all of this lot needs to get scraped off to put fresh stuff down, if there isn't anything underneath it, might be an interesting, just pick a spot to dig. That could be a really interesting thing to investigate. However, probably not with the time scale I've got before our events. Uh, so we shall see. Uh, fingers crossed, I've got to get to the next set of gates reasonably soon and then get some signs up. Let's hold you about our other set of gates. Now these are in a similar state, except stuff's growing all around them and requires lots of welding on my part to fix broken hinges for pedestrian gates catches and all sorts of things but i cannot wait to get out here and get those done and really start making this entrance look wonderful because these will look great this lot might actually be cut and the next set of gates will look great and then of course the signs and the made will be there so i really cannot wait to do that i've still got to finish off those steps in the mortaring 
it was just so hot and the jet wash was out, I particularly wanted to get covered in water spray, to be honest. And that's me getting distracted. So apologies, I really should get on with some getting a job done as I see it do it. But it was just too nice a weather not to get covered in a mist of water. Right, let's crack on.